five times the speed of sound. Just 21 months and $18 million. Faster than the Greek god Hermes himself. This US hypersonic jet engine is ready to be unleashed. The US is about to turn the hypersonic arms race on its head, and it's all thanks to a little startup from Atlanta, Georgia. In today's video, we take a closer look at Hermes Quarter Horse and their groundbreaking hypersonic jet engine technology. These innovative engineers are shaking up the aviation industry and pushing the boundaries of speed with their technology capable of reaching speeds greater than five times the speed of sound. Get ready to be amazed as we dive into the world of hypersonic travel. So how did a small startup from Georgia outdo the likes of Boeing, Raytheon Technologies, and Lockheed Martin? Well, they've been working on this bad boy for years, and last year they released a video showing their operation. Hermia's quarter horse aircraft can reach speeds of Mach 5.5 or 4,219 miles per hour. So what does this mean for the future? Well, for starters, it means that you can finally make that New York to London trip in less than an hour. But it also means that the US is leading the way in hypersonic technology, which is going to change the game for the military and the aviation industries. And let's be real, who doesn't love a good arms race? Introducing the Chimera engine, named after the mythical creature that breathes fire. And just like the Chimera, this engine is beyond the myth. It's real and it's here to stay. It's going to be used to power an autonomous aircraft as early as this year. Can you believe that? An autonomous aircraft powered by this bad boy. The real magic happened at the Notre Dame Turbo Machinery Laboratory in Indiana, where Hermes successfully demonstrated the transition between turbojet and ramjet power on their engine after it completed a three-month testing period for its turbojet to ramjet conversion. Company officials have reported successful completion of the conversion several times during the trials. This follows the company's $1.5 million U.S. Air Force contract in 2020 to research the use of hypersonic aircraft for high-ranking government officials. Hermes has since announced plans to develop both military and commercial aircraft and has received additional funding from the Air Force and support from major investors such as Raytheon Technologies. The team at Hermes, the company behind the Chimera, has managed to make all of this happen in just 21 months and for a grand total of just $18 million. That's like building a rocket in your backyard over the weekend. This is one of the most important technological feats in making operational hypersonic flights a reality. And it turns out, the key to making hypersonic flight a reality is something called a turbojet ramjet hybrid engine. The first question we ask ourselves is, how are they doing this when industry giant Lockheed Martin has been working on their own hypersonic jet, the SR-72 Son of Blackbird, for almost a decade now? And each unit is expected to cost over $1 billion. Well, to answer that question, we need to take a look at the engine powering the aircraft, the Quarter Horse. It's a turbojet ramjet hybrid known as the turbine-based combined cycle or TBCC engine. It turns out Hermes has a secret weapon, their engine, the Chimera. It's a mixture of old and new technologies, including an afterburner, ramjet, turbojet engine, pre-cooler, and rear inlet. Chimera. It's like a transformer, but instead of turning into a robot, it can switch between turbojet and ramjet modes. This allows Hermes' first aircraft, the Quarter Horse, to take off from a regular runway and then accelerate up to high Mach speeds. But before you start thinking that sounds too good to be true, let's break down the difference between a turbojet, ramjet, and scramjet engines. They are all forms of jet propulsion, but they have a number of fundamental differences. Turbojet. A turbojet uses a fan to suck in air and then squeezes that air with a compressor. The compressed air is then mixed with fuel and ignited, similar to how a piston compresses the air-fuel mixture in a car. Turbojets can manage speeds from a standstill to beyond Mach 2, but they can't sustain hypersonic speeds of Mach 5 or more. Ramjet a ramjet, on the other hand, has no fan or compressor. They have no major moving parts at all and can only function when already traveling at high speed. They rely on the immense pressure of air flowing into the inlet and around the cone for compression. That compressed air is then mixed with fuel and ignited to produce thrust. Scramjet or supersonic combustion ramjet. Think of a scramjet like a ramjet's cooler, older brother. A ramjet has something called an inlet cone that slows down the air before it enters the combustion chamber. 
but a scramjet doesn't have that cone. It lets the air pass through at supersonic speeds. This allows for faster flight, but it's like trying to light a match in a hurricane. Ramjets and scramjets can't operate at lower speeds for taking off and landing. This is one of the reasons why today's hypersonics are not reusable. That's where the Chimera engine comes in, the brainchild of Hermes. As we mentioned earlier, it's a hybrid of a turbojet and a ramjet, and it's like having the best of both worlds. During takeoff and acceleration, it's in turbojet mode, just like a regular jet. But once it reaches Mach 2, the ramjet takes over and we're off to the races. And here's the real kicker. The Chimera has a special feature called a pre-cooler, which cools down the air before it enters the engine. This allows Hermes to push the limits of the turbojet even further before transitioning to the ramjet. It's like pouring ice water on a hot engine. It just works better. So Hermes aims to get past this issue by combining a turbojet and ramjet into a single engine, the Chimera. The basic concept of driving the Chimera and Quarter Horse is to rely on the turbojet engine during takeoff and while accelerating. And the best part? The Quarter Horse can land and be reused. They plan to install the Chimera on their first aircraft sometime this year. They're making a full-ranged air-breathing hypersonic engine that doesn't need a rocket to take off. And the best part? These engines are reusable, meaning we'll be seeing a lot more of them in the future. Hermes is making sure their aircraft can land at traditional airports. You won't have to worry about learning how to land on a different planet. This is especially important for their goal of radically accelerating passenger travel through hypersonic flight. This is huge news for those of us who are tired of layovers and long flights. But before we start packing our bags for a hypersonic vacation, let's talk about how Hermes is making it happen. They have a secret weapon, vertical integration. This means they're manufacturing everything in-house, which allows for a tight feedback loop between engineers and technicians. And it's not really a bad thing. It eases their reliance on outside vendors and allows for better control of the supply chain. And let's not forget about additive manufacturing. 15% of the engine is 3D printed, which means they can develop things quickly and on a budget. The quarter horse is made of titanium alloy, so it can handle the stress of hypersonic speeds like a boss. It has a range of 4,600 miles and can fly at an altitude of 80,000 feet and reaches a top speed of Mach 5. Now, some of you might be wondering, but wait, isn't stealth important to modern aviation? Well, yes, it is. But when you're flying at speeds above Mach 5, the heat, friction, and pressure are too much for radar-absorbing materials to handle. So the quarter horse has to rely on its speed to avoid detection. But the real game changer here is the tyranny of distance. With the quarter horse, the US military can cover more ground in less time. It's like teleportation, but without the whole splitting your atoms thing. And let's not forget, Hermes is not alone in this race. Other companies are working on their own hypersonic engines. But who will be the first to achieve this at an operational level? Do you believe other major players like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Technologies have something buried in their archives? Leave your thoughts and comments in the section below. Thanks for watching Military Minds. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you next time, folks.